Hello everyone, in this episode, Sharon accidentally stepped on the condolence flowers sent by the jaw. She had no idea who Song Seiyi was, and confessed to Bobe that Song Seiyi was her stalker. Sharon lied to Bobe to prevent her from finding out more about Song Seiyi or the reason behind the condolence flower. For a moment, she suspected that the Jung was the one who sent the flower. Sharon confronted the Jung and threatened to report her to the police. However, the Jung responded by threatening to sue Sharon for defamation since there was no evidence to support her accusation. Now, the Jung and Yohan are determined to find out who Song Seiyi is because even Sharon doesn't know. They believe it's impossible for Dok Su to have mentioned the name of Sharon Stalker before he passed away. In this episode, Da Jong returns to the location of her father's accident, hoping to find something, but she comes back empty-handed. Disappointed, she receives encouragement from Johan, who promises to accompany her back to the accident location to search for evidence together. While they were talking, they may notice Aja on a phone call with Mr. Kim. Da Jong becomes suspicious of Aja due to her strange behavior during the call. It turns out that Aja was negotiating with Mr. Kim to receive cash payment for the wild pine mushroom she sold. Da Jong and Johan couldn't hear the conversation, so Da Jong stays up all night to find out what happened. The next morning, she discovers from CCTV footage that Aja received cash from Mr. Kim after selling the mushroom. She shows the recording to Bobe, who becomes furious. Bobe doesn't tolerate thieves in Bobe Jung. Aja tries to explain that it was a mistake due to the high price of the mushroom. But when the Jung shows CCTV footage of Aja stealing money from the cash drawer, Aja can no longer argue. Bobe finally expels Aja from Bobe Jung, not wanting to see her there anymore. Meanwhile, there is another storyline involving Jaeguk who becomes increasingly suspicious of Johan because he frequently visits the 11th floor where W Investment is located. Johan admits that he goes there for Bobe Jong Sheik and not for W Investment. However, Jaeguk's suspicions grow with each visit. Jaeguk pays a surprise visit to W Investment and coincidentally, Johan is there. Johan quickly hides, and when Jaeguk wants to see a photo that Johan's college had turned over, someone contacts Jaeguk, preventing him from seeing the photo of Johan and Anna in the W investment room. Johan needs to find a way to keep Jaeguk from discovering his involvement with W investment. Finally, in the last scene of this episode, Hale asks a detective to help find her daughter. Unfortunately, she unknowingly seeks help from a detective who has been bribed by Jaegu, so she may be deceived once again. Okay everyone, that's the storyline for this time and thank you for watching my video.